Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Gala Games whose current price stands at the 0.02446 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 3.36% and in this video I want to give you the long term scenarios and also the short term scenarios that can play out here on the Gala Games chart and I want to kickstart my analysis here on the daily chart basing my analysis on the edio 12 structures the fibonacci and also the key areas of support and resistances and i want to kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening here on the gala games chart from these low prices that we had been trading within here on the daily chart you can see we had a very nice impulsive movement taking us back to an all time high at around the 0.84 dollar mark and in that movement we can term it as a higher edio 12 count one to the upper side and after seeing the all time high we have been seeing no prices in this corrective structure that is this ABC corrective structure in what I'm terming as a higher edu 12 count 2 and we might have seen the low for this higher edu 12 count 2 and whatever we expect after seeing the low for that higher edu 12 count 2 is a movement to the upper side in the formation of this higher edu 12 count 3 then expect a way 4 and then continue pushing even higher in a way 5 to the upper side and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this edu 12 structure that I have right here after seeing the all time high you can see we have been in this corrective structure that is this ABC corrective structure which has now taken us back to around the 0.023 dollar mark and this corrective structure uh, fits uh, to be within that uh, higher edu 12 count 2 because a higher edu 12 count 2 is a corrective wave and therefore it fits to be within that uh, higher edu 12 count 2 right there and there are chances that we might have seen the low for this higher edu 12 count 2 because if I measure these uh, movements that you have been in in the bear market from the all time high the market is down by more than 97 percent and that means there are chances that we might have seen the low for gala games and giving you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave three which i'm expecting to see in the next bull market i can use the trend based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of the wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 1.33 uh, dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect that higher edio 12 count 3 to the upper side to do in the next bull market and that with 3 to the upper side which is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within this higher edio 12 count 3 and there are chances that we might have started that reversal to the upper side here on the gala games chart and jumping to the one hour chart because this is where things are getting interesting here on the one hour chart you can see after losing the key area of support at around the 0.04 dollar mark we continued pushing lower and made a new low at around the 0.023 dollar mark and after making that low i've been uh, seeing a very nice bounce to the upper side in a movement that has been obeying the edio 12 structures and you can see after making the low down there we saw a very nice bounce to the upper side in this wave one then a wave two then i'm expecting a wave three and then a wave four and then continue pushing higher in a wave five to complete a higher edu 12 count one to the upper side and right now i believe that uh, we are in the formation we have completed the formation of this higher edu 12 count two over here in my yesterday's video i had the law for this with two right here and i was expecting a very nice impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of this wave three and in the formation of that higher edu 12 count three which is right here in yellow i also expected to see fractal waves in formation and i was i had started sketching out uh, another edu 12 structure right here but you can see from these structures that we have right here we have managed to invalidate these edu 12 structures and i have to remove that fractal wave from my charts and i also need to adjust the low for this with two from this low at around the 0.024 dollar mark the new low that we made yesterday at around the 0.0238 dollar mark so i need to make that adjustment and also view this movement right here as an abc corrective structure so whatever we have been in over here has been just a massive abc corrective structure and we had not seen the low for that with two so this is now an abc corrective structure like that and there are chances that now we have seen the law for this wave two and there are chances that we might start 
uh, a nice impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 right here and within that wave 3 to the upper side I will also expect to see fractal waves in formation and for us to confirm uh, the formation of this wave 3 we need to break above the wave 1 high and that is at around the 0.026 dollar mark so let's be patient and see how that plays out in case Gala Games manage to break, up, to break above the key area at around the 0.026 dollar mark then we can start sketching out a nice uh, impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 right here I can use the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave down there to the high of the wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of a wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.027 dollar mark so let's be patient and see how that plays out also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI we are trading at around the 33 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side and a little bit of room for us to support any movements to the lower side before we get into the oversold region also taking a look at the MACD here on the MACD that is on the one hour MACD we have printed a bearish cross and that would mean no prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated